Hi everyone, welcome to the session for TAFE credits and uni Q&A. Um, I'm Alicia and I am a marketing engagement officer at La Trobe here in Shepparton. So I work within the student recruitment team and today I have Sarah Popper who is the youth engagement officer at GoTAFE with me and we're going to talk you through um, just some uh, information regarding TAFE and also um, if you want to come to university and if you want to join the two um, as a pathway option for you it's a really great option for students so if you have any questions throughout the session throughout the presentation please just use the Q&A function um, on Zoom and we'll answer them once we've finished the presentation. Okay now I'll pass on to Sarah and she can share her screen hopefully with the presentation and we'll get started. Awesome. Thanks, Alicia. I'll just share my screen. Hopefully that's working. Looks all right. Awesome. So yep, as Alicia working. said, thank you. Um, as Alicia said, I'm Sarah from GoTAFE. I'm in the youth engagement team in Shepparton. Um, so I work with young people both in and out of education to provide information about pathway and post-secondary school options. Um, so this presentation is just a brief overview about what TAFE is, what we offer, and some courses you might consider undertaking alongside or undertaking alongside or after you finish school as well. Beautiful. So GoTAFE has campuses in Benalla, Seymour, Shepparton, Wangaratta and Wollan is it one of our new campuses of, of late. Um, so we do offer training for certificate and diploma level courses, short courses, pre-apprenticeships, traineeships and, apprentice and apprenticeships. Our courses can be delivered full-time or part-time on or off campus and in the workplace. Um, we also have blended online courses now that are available to offer students a wider range of flexible study options. So studying at GoTAFE is a really great way to stay local. You know, you don't have to move away. Um, you can obviously keep your part-time job if you've got one, any sporting commitments, um, obviously you can still see your friends. Um, also, if you're lucky enough to be able to save money and still live at home, um, that's another great advantage as well but also the minimal travel to and from campus is a big one um, too. So they're just the big advantages of um, studying at TAFE rather than having to move away. So you do have a few options alongside school at the moment. Um, so I'm not sure if you, know, if you have heard of vet in schools or vet delivered to secondary students. Um, if you haven't already, you will hear about it quite soon. Um, so vet um, qualifications can be completed alongside your year 10, VCAL or VCE studies, and they give you the opportunity to explore and gain new skills in the industries and career pathways that interest you. Um, so we've got uh, quite a list of them. I'll, I'll show that in the next slide. But as a vet student, you'll attend class at, at GoTAFE on one of our campuses, one day a week on a Wednesday for two years. Um, and after that two years, you will come out with a certificate. Um, so we've got that at Shepparton, and Wangaratta, Seymour and Benalla. We also have a couple of courses that are online as well. So I'll talk about that in the next slide too. Um, but it's basically a really good way to combine um, your VET subject, your VET study with your normal VCE or VCAL classes and your VET course may even contribute towards your ATAR as well. Um, so some of our particular specialised courses might be co-delivered with our partner institute. So GV Health in Shep um, or Northeast Wangarat, uh, Health in Wangaratta, the hospitals. Um, so that's obviously when you're doing one of the health courses. Um, it is encouraged that students do undertake work experience as part of their program um, during the designated work placement weeks and during school holidays to extend their experience and employer networks as well. Um, our work placement is mandatory in some of the programs, but it's strongly encouraged in general for each of the VET programs. So any secondary school student that does wish to participate in a GoTAFE VET program course, should complete the normal course selection process with their school, um, which is usually coming up in the next couple of months. Um, and after your school course selection day, the school will forward the information to GoTE for enrollment. So all, you know, anyone looking at a VET course with us, the referral needs to be endorsed by school. Um, so you definitely need to go through school. You can't come straight through us. So I'll just in the next slide is the list of courses that we do have on offer. So this is actually the 2021 courses running at the moment. We haven't got a 2022 list cemented yet, but it's much of a muchness. Um, so we've got animal studies. So that's predominantly online and you will have workshops um, during school holidays. 
Um, Allied Health, so there's an extra application and interview for that. Art and Design, Automotive, Beauty, Building and Construction, Community Services, Early Childhood and Education Support. Those three also have an extra application and interview process. Um, electrical, we've got an extra testing component to that. Engineering, equine, which is your horses. That's also um, one of our other online courses and you have to do an extra horse skills assessment to, for that one as well. Um, hairdressing, hospitality, IT and digital media, plumbing, sport and rec and tourism. So they're all the courses that we hope to still have on offer for this year. Um, again, it could be give or take a couple, but that's what students this year are currently undertaking a mixture of those. Um, another really good opportunity while you're at school is um, to do a school-based apprenticeship or traineeship. So, and, and sometimes called an SBAT. So that allows you to combine your schooling again with some part-time on the job um, training with, as well as doing a qualification alongside. Um, so this type of learning is a really great way to, you know, have another head start, head start for your career um, while you're still at school and, you know, you can even be qualified before you finish year 12. So much like the um, VET courses that we offer as well. So again, with um, an SBAT, a school-based apprenticeship or traineeship, so you have to be um, endorsed by the school. So again, you need to speak to your careers advisor at school about an opportunity like this. Um, a school need to approve it. Um, you also will need to find an employer that's willing to train you in their business or workplace. Um, so having someone in mind as well and, and willing to take you on, as well as having your parent or guardian's permission. Um, so again, another advantage of this is like the VET subject I spoke about earlier, it is incorporating a course and training and workplace stuff into your VCAL or VCE um, senior secondary stuff. So, and as, as well as getting hands-on experience and, you know, earning a wage with this as well. Um, and if you are thinking of maybe looking at a pathway in apprenticeships or traineeships, this is a really good way to get ahead of the game um, before you leave school, I guess. All right. Work experience, I'm sure you've all heard of work experience, but it is an informal program that same sort of deal enables students to get a really good idea of a career they're interested in um, and hopefully be inspired to work, you know, to achieve that as well. Um, so students in the work experience haven't, you know, if, if you are doing work experience, you haven't necessarily been taught any specific skills before, so you don't need to have any um, skills. This is what it's there to teach you to do and to help you with. Um, so you generally only carry very carry out very basic tasks and observations in the workplace. That's a really good way to get your foot in the door, um, get to you know know some employers, um, get your networks up, um, and work experience can of, often lead to other opportunities such as you know your school based apprenticeships or your vet courses that sort of stuff. Um, if you're not sure where to start with work experience, obviously your careers um, person at school is a really good start family members, friends, family friends, school, siblings, sporting groups, and, you know, businesses directly too is a really good way. But these are all ways to get in for pathways after school as well. And another one you've probably heard of, so sorry if I'm repeating stuff you've already um, heard, but structured workplace learning is a really good one as well. Um, so this is but basically placement alongside your VCAL or VCE can be up to about 20 weeks. Um, you can do SWL after doing work experience for added exposure in, in, the, in an industry. Um, and like work experience, it does help you build connections and networks for future employment. Um, so all those options I've mentioned are really good ones to look at, um, again, for future career opportunities. Um, if you are interested in, you know, looking at structured workplace learning or your school-based apprenticeships, there's a portal through the LEN um, that's been really, really helpful. So best to talk to the LEN or your careers person at school as well. So pathways after school. So all those um, that I just previously mentioned are all great pathways for after school courses that we've got on offer. So we do have just a really little snapshot here about courses we offer because it's about 160 plus. So I won't list them all, but um, we have them in areas of business and IT, which is accounting, bookkeeping, um, project management, HR, in creative, we've got art and design. Education is, you know, early childhood, um, education support. So like being a teacher's aide. Um, our 
hair and beauty, obviously that's pretty self-explanatory, but also in that is the barbering courses we've got on offer. Health and community, so that's community services, any health-related course, so nursing's a big one in that, and sport and recreation as well, and fitness and PT, that sort of stuff. Uh, land and animals, so agriculture, animal sciences, your veterinary nursing, equine, horticulture, uh, manufacturing and work safety, which is, you know, h and type of things, and technical trades as well. So they're your apprenticeship courses. Um, I'll speak to those in a sec as well. All right, so pre-apprenticeship courses. So I'm assuming most people have heard of apprenticeships. So pre-apprenticeship courses are, I guess, something you can do that will help with, you know, future skills and, and things for an apprenticeship you might be looking at after school. So a pre-apprenticeship course um, is a six-month course that you would do after school. Um, again, you don't have to have any knowledge about this industry before you go into it. It's there to teach you that and give you basic skills and knowledge to succeed in an apprenticeship afterwards. So you don't need this course to get an apprenticeship, but if you're not quite confident about getting into an apprenticeship straight away, you can do one of these courses because it will also take off a bit of time in an apprenticeship of that same industry for later on. Um, but these courses too, the pre-apprenticeship courses are also the same courses we run in the VET program. So if you're to do a VET in schools program in automotive, it's the exact same course you do after school. So if you do it as a VET um, course on a Wednesday, you don't need to do it after school because it is the same course. Um, but yeah, this is more after school. So if you are willing to, you know, wanting to do one of these courses, um, definitely apply through us after you graduate. So this is a list of the pre-apprenticeship courses we have on offer, automotive, building and construction, furnishing, which is cabinet making, hospitality, electrical, engineering, and plumbing. And again, all of these courses um, you can do through our Vet in Schools program. All right, just a really quick overview about apprenticeships and traineeships. So an apprenticeship or traineeship is a, a paid on the job learning pathway. So it's also combining hands-on experience with formal study at TAFE. Uh, and sometimes you might hear TAFE referred to as trade school. So it's just really a blend of hands-on learning, you're doing a course and you're working full-time as well. Um, so the next slide is, you know, just generally is what apprenticeships and traineeships look like um, if you are to get one or uh, if you're lucky enough to lock one in. So apprenticeships are usually trade-based courses. So you're looking obviously at your automotive building, electrical, plumbing, even your hairdressing and hospitality as well. Looks like I've written hospitality twice, but don't worry about that. Um, so they're usually between three, three and a half, four year um, courses, so apprenticeships. Um, traineeships are usually one to two years um, and they're in a, the other occupation, so a bit of a broader range. So they're more business, IT, tourism events, um, even veterinary nursing. And they're typically cert two and threes, whereas apprenticeships in the trade area are more certificate threes usually. Um, so for example, an apprentice mechanic might study a cert three light vehicle, um, and that might be over four years, whereas a trainee in cert two tourism, they might do that for 12 months. So how do you find an apprenticeship or traineeship? So obviously, again, Work experience is a really good one to broaden your networks and, you know, get to know people in the industry that might offer you something from work experience or a school-based apprenticeship or structured workplace learning. So all of those other ones that I mentioned earlier. Um, but offering your time for work experience is a really important one. Um, and obviously using your networks as well. So ARC school, family, friends, you know, sporting clubs, all that sort of stuff as well. All right, so those pathways I was just talking about, so they can all pathway through into university as well. So if you are looking at, you know, if you've got something in mind for uni, if you don't, that's okay. But if you do, um, you can try them, you know, those industries earlier um, than expected too, so during school. So GoTafe actually does have, um, currently have partnerships with two massive unis, so Charles Sturt University and obviously La Trobe University as well. So these partnerships do provide an established pathway from a TAFE qualification, so which you could start while you're at school at the moment. Um, and you can that can transition into a university degree. So I'll flick through those um, potential opportunities as well. But you basically can earn credits towards your degree from your studies in, you know, a cert four course or a diploma. Um, 
But as you can see there, so an example of a pathway is if you were to do a certificate to in animal studies while you're at school through a vet program, um, you can continue study on um, later after you've graduated through a Cert 3 pet grooming or companion animal services. And then that will earn you some credits to a Bachelor of Vet Tech at um, university as well. So that's just one of the options that, you know, it can get you to university if you want to go that way. Um, so for example, this, I won't overwhelm you, but this is a bit of a snapshot of our pathways. Um, a really popular pathway at the moment, and it has been for a few years, is the Diploma of Nursing. So as a school student, you could do a health-related course, um, you know, in year 11 and year 12 or, or year 10, do two years and come out with um, a certificate level two or three. Um, then you might like to, you know, look at nursing as a pathway. So a Diploma of Nursing is popular. Um, do that for a couple of years at TAFE. Then you might like to go either to Charles Sturt or Latrobe and get into the Bachelor of Nursing and you're going to earn some um, potential credit points for that as well. But I will leave the professional um, Alicia to that to talk more about the uni side of things. But that's just a really quick snapshot of pathways you can get into. Um, the next couple, again, is early childhood. And that's a pathway into uni as well. Um, Food science, another good one, and veterinary nursing is quite a popular one as well. And just another quick one about the business and IT um, industry. So again, we can look at a diploma of accounting with TAFE, and then you can earn some credits to go on to La Trobe and do a Bachelor of Business. Um, but I will leave you with Alicia now to talk more about that. Okay, thank you. I hope that you can still see the screen, even though it's coming from Sarah's um, laptop. Hopefully it's still showing up. So I'm Alicia and I work, uh, I'm a marketing engagement officer with La Trobe. I work at the Shepparton campus and my role is to assist school students like Sarah, but also mature age students who want to come to university. So just want to click through to the next one, please, Sarah. It'll go. So just a little bit about La Trobe to start off with. Um, we are Victoria's third oldest university, so we are quite an old university. We have a number of campuses across Victoria. So we've obviously got Bandura, which I'm sure everyone's heard of. We do have one in the city of Melbourne, Orver Wodonga, Bendigo, Mildura, Shepparton, and Sydney has a campus as well. Um, we have a number of undergraduate degrees, which is over a hundred. So I'm not gonna go through all of those, but currently we have more than um, 36,000 students uh, and a number of those are international. So it's really, good, it's really good to just know where we are and what we, um, what we do. So can you click through the next slide, please? <laughs> Once it comes up. Beautiful. So coming from a university perspective, there's always a way that you can get in. There's so many options from being a school student um, right up to a mature age entry. So don't feel like your ATAR and your school scores are the be all and end all. There are other entry points for you. So obviously with your school scores, your VCE, your ATAR and your English prereqs, you can get direct entry to a number of our degrees. We do offer both bachelor and diploma levels as well. The, we have early entry programs and a lot of universities do. So it's always worthwhile having a look into um, any university that you're interested in and what their early entry programs might be. We do have Aspire through La Trobe, which gives you a conditional offer in September. So actually before you sit your exams. So it'll take a little bit of that pressure off. We have the tertiary preparation program. And once again, all universities will have some sort of adaption of this. It is a foundation building course that if you missed out on the English, let's say, you could undertake this course in six to 12 months and it can lead into a number of our bachelor degrees. As I mentioned, we do have diplomas available as well, which are lower entry. You can also transfer between degrees. So if you're interested in say education, you could go into one of our pathway courses and then transfer across into our actual teaching degree. We do have a lot of courses that work hand in hand and they do 
generally share the same first year. So you can transfer into a second year of um, a program if you've got the credit there as well. Work recognition program is more for mature age students. So if you are, if you've left school and you've gone and you've worked in say an apprenticeship or a traineeship like through GoTAFE, um, then you could come back to us and have a look at work recognition. So we don't actually take into consideration um, any qualifications that you may have studied. We actually take into consideration what you've done um, work-wise. So there are requirements there that you need to adhere to, but you know it's a good one to think um, about if you are wanting to work before you start. Uh, stat test is a test that you have to sit, but you won't be able to sit that for your first six months out of school. So bear that in mind, if you don't get the scores that you need, you'll have to wait six months to sit that stat test. And obviously TAFE pathways, which is what we're going to, or what we're talking about today. Um, there's so many options for TAFE pathways through us. So we'll just click on to the next slide, please. So your, when you study at TAFE, you can, um, it can be a direct entry or a credit pathway through to a course at university. Obviously we have the partnership um, with GoTAFE, so it is a smooth transition, but a lot of universities will take into consideration your TAFE qualification. Generally speaking, we look at a certificate for or above, so a diploma or advanced diploma, um, and that, that can be used to gain entry. Anything lower than a certificate for will generally have to go into a pathway option for you, or you can study back at TAFE and then come back to us when you've got that little bit higher qualification. Let's click to the next slide. So what's the benefit of obviously going to TAFE and then coming through to us? There, a lot of people may not be aware that there is a huge benefit from studying at a lower level, certificate level and diploma through GoTAFE, let's say, and then coming across to university. Um, it will give you two different learning experiences. So TAFE will be very different from your high school and university will be very different from your TAFE studies as well. So it gives you that exposure and experience across all levels of learning. You'll have a basis of understanding. So if you do say um, the Allied Health Assistant Cert 4 at GoTAFE, you're gonna have a experience and knowledge in the health field that's only gonna benefit you when you do future study, like in the Diploma of Nursing, and then obviously to us for the, um, the Bachelor of Nursing, you're gonna have that background knowledge. If you do a certificate or diploma at TAFE, you, it's a shorter course and it will actually help you gain employment in the field. So you may already be working in a hospital capacity when you come back to us to do a Bachelor of Nursing. So it gives you that experience and that taste of the industry firsthand. It will also increase your employability. The um, employers like to see qualifications on resume as well as experience. So if you've got all of that throughout your um, study history, they're just going to look at that a lot more um, highly than someone who hasn't got that background. You also hold two, res uh, two qualifications. So if you did the diploma through GoTAFE, let's say, and then came to us to do the bachelor, you'll have two separate qualifications, which always looks good on a resume. Um, and if you study through a TAFE provider, you can be eligible for entry or credit into a degree, which I'll go through in a little bit more. So the difference between direct entry and credit just so you're aware, um, like I said, a certificate four or above can give you direct entry into a program, into um, one of our bachelor degrees or even a diploma degree with Latrobe. What it means is it will be, it will cover off the entry requirements for that degree if it's direct entry, but it won't um, give you any credit towards the degree. So I've got an example there. If you were to do the cert four in allied health assistance, um, that would cover off the entry for health science, but it won't give you any credit towards the degree. Whereas if you did the diploma of accounting and then went on to do the bachelor of business or the bachelor of business accounting it can equate to one entire year off your studies same with nursing if you did the diploma of nursing through GoTAFE and then came to us generally it's a three-year degree but if you did the diploma first it actually drops it down to a two-year degree so that's just the difference between direct entry and credit
Thanks, Sarah. Um, so what can you study? Um, so there are many courses that we offer, like I said, over 100 degrees, and I've just listed them there for you. One thing to keep in mind, um, like I said, a certificate for or above will meet entry to a lot of our programs. It doesn't have to be the same degree. So if you did the cert for an allied health assistance at GoTafe and then wanted to come to us to do arts or you wanted to come to us to do uh, business or something like that, then that would cover entry requirements for those degrees. It doesn't have to be the same degree that you're going into. Just click the next one. Uh, so we have a lot of su supports available for students that are coming to La Trobe. I've listed them all there. I won't go through them all in much detail, but just always ask for help if you need it. We do have wellbeing officers. We have um, peer learning advisors, which can help you write assignments and reference if you're not sure on how to do that. Um, there are flexible study options, just like GoTafe, you can undertake it part-time and full-time study. And we have access to a HEX loan, which means the government covers the tuition cost and you just need to pay that back once, at the, um, once you finish your degree. And next one. Um, and scholarships and grants, it's always worthwhile to have a look at any scholarships that you could potentially um, be eligible for. It's, I always recommend this to anyone I'm speaking to, jump on, apply for scholarships. We've just updated the process so you don't have to apply for scholarships individually. You apply for it and then if you're um, eligible for any scholarships, you will be put into the running for those as well. Um, so you can do that directly to us or through the VTAC system when you're in year 12, you will do it through VTAC as well. Just the next one. Beautiful. So if there's any questions, you can put it in the Q&A function now. Hopefully we've covered everything for you so far. Um, but definitely reach out to Sarah or myself directly. Um, and we're always more than happy to speak to students about their options, their study options, their career pathways and way to, ways to get to where they want to go as well. If you just want to click to the... Oh, I just stopped sharing. That's all right. That's fine. <laughs> Oops. Awesome. Well, we're getting close to the end of the session now anyway, Sarah. So hopefully we have um, answered all your questions, even though they haven't been asked. So for the, the ones that are in your head, we've answered all of those ones. Like I said, we're more than happy to talk to you in more detail about your specific career goals and your requirements as well. So please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Sarah and I do a lot of um, interactions with the schools. So your CP will know us and they will be able to contact us if you have any questions. Um, so thanks for coming along today and thanks Sarah for presenting with me. It's been really good. Uh, and next up we have job opportunities, the Shepparton line upgrade at 12.45. So if you are interested in finding out more about that one, hang on the line and they will go through that with you soon. Great, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you later.